Hi and welcome back. So, as we can see, we got the rest of the weapons onto the bottom of uh, AH-64. Um, this time we've got to get basically everything finished. So, lots of greeblies to go on everywhere in the rotors. So, I've made a bit of a start. I've got everything for the main rotor already primed, ready to paint. Um, we have a few clear parts. Let's get focused. That go in the top that we've already painted the inside. So we'll still have, we'll have the colour, but we'll still have that clear part look. Um, and this is just loads of these tiny, tiny, tiny pieces that I've got to paint. So I've had all these off. These are all primed. Got to get them all painted and then literally glue them on one by one where they're meant to be. And how small they are, you can understand why I didn't put them on before. Painting everything else because of all the handling it gets. So I'm going to start by getting... Literally all the greeblies painted and then everything that goes on the underside of the helicopter out the way and then it won't be going upside down ever again. <laughs> so I'm not sure how we'll have a look at this as it goes along. Probably once we've got the underside finished. Right, so been uh, getting some more Close to finishing, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. We've got all the door handles painted for inside and outside these doors. Um, everything is on the bottom now and all painted up. So that's completed. Tiny little bits, but they do make a difference. Um, and I've also got everything painted for the main propeller. <laughs> so we've got this part's wrapped up at the moment, but under there is the olive drab, uh, matte black, or flat black, should I say, on the rotors. Um, so my next stage is. Gonna get these all all the propeller bits glossed over. Because there's some decals to go on them. Get the decals in place, seal them in, and get all this entire propeller together. So once this is all assembled, we'll have another look. Right, so we've now got the main rotor in place. And um, this is designed to come on and off so it does spin round but I'm in two minds I may stick it because as it spins it does wobble and there's no way around that because it's just the size of it and I'm not going to spin it fast enough for the centrifugal force to hold it steady <laughs> but that's looking nice now all painted up and um, so now I've got Uh, propellers for the rear rotors just need painting um, there's about another 30 odd greeblies I've got either painted ready to go in place or primed ready to be painted so I'm going to get all these painted and all in place and then next segment will probably just be the final reveal of the model Make sure the doors before that. We'll see. Right, so I've got these doors in place. Um, they were bloody hard to get in. There's absolutely no locating pins. There's literally the thickness of the piece of plastic to stick it together with. 
no locating pins for these. Um, I broke off and dro dropped both inner door handles. They're gone. Carpet monsters eating them. But yeah, it looks good like that. I, and especially not having any figures with the model, it makes sense to have it open as if it's when it's on the ground. And I've taken off, as you can see, I've taken off the masks on the rest of the windows so you can see into the cockpit now all the work I did in there. So now all I've got to do is get the rest of these screeblies onto it. All of them are painted now. Everything's painted. Uh, some of it needs to clear cut before it goes on. Anything, um, there's a couple of bits, I think, sort of at the front. I'll clear cut them before I stick them on because clear cut's going nowhere near that glass. Oh, the clear plastic because it'll just fog it up. In fact, I'll probably clear cut everything before I stick it on. But not a lot more to do now, so I'll get the last X amount of pieces, I don't know what it is, 30 or so, stuck on, and that'll be model finished. Right, and we're going to call this model finished. Um, lots of greeblies, a silly amount of them. I can see why you'd have to have some separate, but it's like these little wings and... There's a piece on the back here, and there's loads of these little pieces that stick flat. It's like, well, why wasn't it just moulded in? It's... Because there's no obvious connection points. It's made it a lot more complicated than it should be. And the instructions were brilliant to follow for where things went. So I've done the best I can. Um, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, the dolls, I put a couple of photos up yesterday and that. I knocked them off while I was putting Greeblies on all over. So I've had to put them back on and I've actually put them on. Hold on, I'll take off the main rotor. I've put them on more open than they were, which I think is actually a much better look on it. But... Lots of detail. Uh, it won't stand up to someone coming up to massively close screw and it will from a metre away. You know, when it's sat on your shelf at home a couple of metres away. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the job I've done. Um, I'm not sure what we're putting on the bench next. Might finish off a kit before we start another model. I know the next model I do will not have 50-odd bloody tiny little greeblies that have to stick all over it, whatever it is. Um, but thank you for watching this time. Uh, keep trekking and keep modelling. Thank you. Bye-bye.